Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today I got uh, some exciting news for the channel and some sad news for the channel. Um, but we're going to start with the exciting news. So I picked up another vehicle. Um, and I think this is going to be a great vehicle for the channel. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all it. It's a 2001 Chevy 2500 HD. And... It needs some work. It needs a lot. I got a great deal on it. That's why I got it. Um, but it does need some work. Um, as y'all can see, the bed is pretty pretty beat up. But that's only the only thing wrong with the body, except for the hood. The hood's got a couple little tiny dents in it and a bunch of scratches. But I'm thinking about getting the HD hood for it. But the cab and the doors and the fenders are all fine. There's no dents in all those. The, interior is pretty is a uh, it's pretty good um it looks like somebody replaced the bumper because you can see where the beds the bumper hit the bed and this bumper has no damage to it so i think someone replaced the bumper they just didn't replace the bed they probably couldn't find one or whatnot but um move all this real quick here's the interior uh, I gotta get the clips for this. The clips fell out. So it's, it's not broke. It's just the clips are not in it. But here's the interior. It is power windows and locks. Um, it does not have keyless entry, but we'll get into that in a second. It's pretty nice on the inside. Um, so I know what y'all are wondering right off the bat. What is the power plant in this thing? Is it a 6.6 .6 Duramax LB7? Is it a 6.0 with a 4080E? Is it an 8.1 with the Allison 1000? Well, I'll tell y'all what it is. Oh my god, it's Duramax! No, it's playing. It's a 6.0. Um, Duramax would have made sense, especially for this channel, but like I said, I found this, I got a really good deal on it, so I jumped on it. It uh it's a 60 stock with a foil 80 e Um it's got a cold air intake. Uh the only really problem with the truck, like drivability wise, is the radiator leaks. Some are right here. But the radiator leaks, I ordered one last Saturday. Um and today's Saturday, so it's been seven days, but I went in there today. It was supposed to be here today, but when I went in there, they said UPS doesn't deliver on Saturday or something, so I had to come back on Monday. So, no big deal. So, we got to replace the radiator, and we're also going to do some, an upgrade for the cooling system. Because um, this shroud is destroyed. It's actually it's broke everywhere. Um, so, we're going to do an upgrade for the cooling system that'll fix that i'm not gonna say what it is though y'all y'all know when i release the video also the windshield washer bottle looks like it's melted or something i don't know but also the uh hose is missing so we have to fix that um i've never seen these battery terminal bolt things before so anyways i got new ones i'm not sure what's up with these ones but i got new one of those and other than that i mean the engine runs great sounds great runs great has no problems with the engine transmission i am having a small problem with but when i pulled the dipstick the fluid does kind of look a little dirty um my problem I'm having is it kind of wants to hang up between first and second and then uh sometimes the the converter will like for and out of nowhere just start like chattering for like a couple of seconds and then it'll go away um so hopefully it's just a um filter maybe maybe clogged or something if it needs to be changed so we're going to service it um it's kind of like a 50 50 if it's going to fix it or not if it don't we'll have it rebuilt no big problem but there's that uh it does have a second battery tray over here but there's no battery and there's no wires so i'm not sure if someone added that that's a factory option i also don't know what this this right here is for um but if anybody knows what this this connector goes to some kind of option from factory whatever it goes to someone comment below what it should supposed to go to anyways um 
and then we'll move into the well we'll stay on the train or the we're talking about the transmission we'll put it off. the other problem with the transmission is um it leaks somebody replaced like either replaced or rebuilt the uh transfer case i can see it looks pretty new and as you can see right there there's a spot on the ground so it leaks transmission fluid between the transfer case and the tail housing of the transmission so who replaced it i guess didn't replace the output shaft seal on the transmission so we'll have to replace that take that out and place it um but also they put a bunch of mixed gasket around the uh transfer case and the tail housing of the transmission which is a big no-no um all you need is that paper gasket because there's no fluid transfer between the two it's just there to keep water and stuff out um the other problem is the truck is so the truck is obviously a single cab long bed it's four wheel drive but as you can see here it's got a two wheel drive wheel bearing and here's why somebody managed you can see right there someone managed to snap the half shaft the passenger half shaft um in half so obviously a cv axle isn't going to bolt to it and you can't just have your cv axle just flopping around so they pull the cv axles out and because that they had to put two wheel drive wheel bearings on it so i got a new half shaft we'll put that in some new seals for it uh i gotta get the cv axles and the wheel bearings that was another thing i was looking at getting wheel bearings for it and i was like you know what this is a perfect truck to try out the kryptonite products i've always wanted a kryptonite I always wanted to put it on a vehicle and try it out, see what it all, all the talk is about. Um, so I started looking at it. I was like, well, I can't just get the wheel bearings. I'm going to get the whole front suspension rebuild kit for the from Kryptonite. And it's like over, like um, um, a little bit over three grand. And I was sitting there thinking, I was like, well, that's going to be cost three grand. And then it's going to, uh, if I wanted to lift it, I had to get a lift kit and a good, a good lift kit. It's going to cost about another two to three grand. And it's like, like like a nine inch or something. Um, and then I get tires and whatnot. But I was thinking I was like, it'd probably just be cheaper to just solid axle swap it. So I don't know. Should I should I go should I go kryptonite or should I solid axle swap it? I don't know. Um, so we we'll have to fix that the four wheel drive. Um, also the linkage for the four wheel drive. Uh, half of it is missing. Like, the linkage rod is, is a two-piece and there's a bolt in the center so for, for it shows it's adjustable the other half is missing so we have to get that i have that actually we have to replace it um the other thing is he told me it was a true dual exhaust the cats were cut out and it goes through a flow master and it has an axle dump but when i looked at the exhaust that's the that's what he's talking about, about axle dump the back half of the muffler is just cut off there's no tubes or anything so that's another problem with the truck there's that we have to get that replaced the truck's way too loud i mean it sounds good but it's way too loud so we'll have to get a custom exhaust made, put some cats back on it. There's no check engine light, so I don't know about that. I guess they had it tuned out or something. Because there's no check engine light. It's not throwing anything for the O2 sensors or anything. Um, so yeah, that's about it on the exterior, I think. So we'll jump into... So I've actually had... I had to write stuff down. Let's see here. Yeah, 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 yeah okay so the parking brake cable also i noticed the parking brake wasn't working so i looked up under here and the cable is actually half the cable is missing so we have to get that that fixed um okay tow hooks this truck doesn't have tow hooks it doesn't look like it came for tow hooks in the factory there's no tow hooks there and there's no so like usually you would see if there was tow hooks you'd see like you know the little indention where a bolt was sitting at on either side but there's nothing there and there's nothing on the inside that has a little circle indention for the tow hooks were so i don't think it came factory with them so i'm gonna try and get some tow hooks for it oh and the lights the lights are having problems with halogen bulbs sometimes they work sometimes they don't so i bought led ones also the interior lights don't come on so i bought some new bulbs for that too um so Let's see. Oh, I didn't notice the fuses were blown for the tow tow lights. So I came up under here and I noticed it was just completely missing. So I went up under the truck and I pulled out what I saw was shoved up in there and this is what I found. 
connector it looks like it fell on the ground and they drug it so that's probably what blew the, or that is what blew the fuses um so i had to get a new one of those and now we're going to jump into the inside and there's more i think there's more on the inside to fix than the outside but it's just little stuff so it is power windows and locks it does not have keyless entry but we'll get into that um but the locks do not work nothing works on the locks so probably just a blown fuse i don't know but we'll look into it um and then the windows i gotta put the key in real quick for the windows the driver's window rolls down but it's super slow going back up and as for the passenger you can hear it clicking over there, but the passenger window does not work. Same thing on that side. If you use the buttons, nothing works. So, I got new, I got new switches, all new switches. Um, I got new rig, uh, window regulators, and I also bought some fuses. So hopefully, it's just a blown fuse for the locks. And then as for the keyless entry, so the truck's wired from keyless entry from factory. It just doesn't have the module or the relay in the in the um, fuse box to be able to run. Uh, keyless entry um so i got the module the module goes behind the intro cluster i got the module and i got the relay um it's already wired for it like i said um the other only problem is i got the key fobs too the only other problem is um the P, the bcm might not be tuned or programmed to run that module so if i install that stuff and it still doesn't work i'll probably have to get a new bcm or have that one i'm not sure if you can program that one somehow but either way, I probably have to replace the BCM. But like I said, the truck's wired from it, wired for it from factory. They just didn't have that option. Um, they had the module and whatnot. The other thing is the fuel gauge. I don't see it's reading empty. I just filled it up yesterday. It's reading empty. The little flow, uh, low fuel lights on. So I bought a new fuel pump uh, just because it has two hundred forty-two thousand miles. I don't know if the fuel pump's ever been replaced. So taking it out and trying to replace that just that sensor just isn't. You know, it's, it, the fuel pump doesn't cost that much, so taking the pe whole bed off and all that, just doing it for a little sensor, I might as well paste the whole pump. So I bought a whole new pump, um, so we'll have to replace that. And like I said, the shifter linkage is not even hooked up, half of it's not, half of it's missing. So I, I got a new one of those. Uh, the hood release cable, I think I bought no, another one of those. The center console lid, 40 bucks on Amazon. The headliner needs to be fixed. Um, and then the, let's talk about the airbag. So this is a Chevrolet, and I noticed the airbag on the, this thing was, or play is because it says GMC. And also, sometimes when I use my turn signal, it's not gonna show up because it's so bright. The air, like at nighttime, the airbag and the seatbelt light flash with the, when I turn my turn signal on. So it made me think, maybe they took the bulbs out for these two. And so when I turn this one on, it lights those two up. So I got me curious, and I was like, well, I wonder why that is so i opened the passenger glove box and first off i saw this wire just hanging here and i was like okay so it's it's wired for to have the the light for the glove box but it has a block off play right here so it didn't come with the factory but it had the option to have it so i bought one of these that pulled apart the light switch but i saw this airbag wire just hanging here it's a two wire plug this is for this is the truck harness and then I noticed the other end wasn't plugged in, so I was looking at it, and this is a four-wire plug. So somebody replaced the airbag, and they ended up getting the wrong one, because it's supposed to be a two-wire, and they got a four-wire. So I was like, huh. Trucks, I know for a fact the truck's never been wrecked, and the airbags have never been deployed. So why they replaced the, the, the both airbags, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is maybe they replaced the whole dash, and that airbag was just came, just came with the dash. And then... Um, maybe they replaced the steering wheel and this uh, the, it was out of a GMC and that's that's why they replaced both airbags um I don't know but then again if they had the old ones why not just put them back in but, uh, like I said I don't know I just I know it was never wrecked and I know the airbags were never deployed so there's that um I did get a new mirror for it so this doesn't have the compass or temp I went and got one uh I have to get the wiring harness and sensors too. Uh, so I actually did that on the white truck. The white truck didn't come with that factory. I actually went to the junk and got a compass and temp uh, mirror. And I also got the wiring harness and sensor and added it all, all in. Um, so 
and it's all factory stuff components so it all looks factory so we'll, i'll probably do a video on how to do that what else what else all right let's go back to my little notepad and see what else oh yeah we're gonna replace the bed but that's no big deal i mean a couple of maybe two three hundred dollars i'll find another bed that's not a big deal um we talked about the radiator oh hvac so the ac works it blows cold but the problem is uh there's no airflow at all absolutely no airflow out of any of the vents and i know it's getting it's getting good air i mean i know it's put the fans pushing it, a lot of air because there's a big old hole down here right here there's a big old hole as y'all can see it's pushing a lot of air now if i put my hand over this hole and completely block it off and i put my hand up to the vent it doesn't change anything so what i'm thinking is Right here, where this, where this bracket is right here, there's a little door. There's two cabin air filters in here. And I'm thinking, most of the time, uh, people don't ever replace their cabin air filters. I have no idea if this one's ever been replaced. So I bought new cabin air filters. Hopefully we'll replace those, clean that out, and maybe that'll fix the airflow problem. Um, if not, we'll go from there. But actually, this truck actually came factory. I looked at the RPO codes, and it actually came factory with 14 gears, which is weird because these 2500s and 3500s, Chevrolet didn't give or didn't put 14 gears in it. They put 373s. You have to actually custom order 14 gears from factory. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But oh, and the other thing, uh, the shifter boot's missing, and the tow haul button does not work. Like a tow haul doesn't come on or anything. So I got a new boot, and then we'll have to figure out why the tow haul doesn't work. Most of the time, it's just the wire. Oh yeah, how about that? Wire's broke. Never, never realized that. So yeah, it's just the wire's broke. Cool. So we'll have to get a new one of those. I think you have to buy the whole new thing. I might go to pull apart and get that. I might order it. I don't know. Um, and then the cruise control. So if you turn the cruise control on, the cruise control light comes on. But if you try and set it, it doesn't work. It won't set. So we we'll have to figure something out about that. <sighs> let's see what else i think that's it oh the ignition lock cylinders so let me pull my keys back out real quick oh all right so this is the key that came with the truck and it works in the ignition yeah i'll get y'all let y'all hear the truck real quick It sounds pretty good, but it's extremely too loud. I mean, this thing runs just like a sewing machine. There's no knocks, no ticks, no nothing. I mean, it runs absolutely perfect. Beautiful. But, um, well, I mean, I didn't forgot. Hold on a second. Let me look at this. Okay. Now I'm here. I was talking about the ignition lock. Okay, so. I'm one of those people, I mean, I, it didn't take much. I forget, I'll forget like instantly what I'm doing. So the key doesn't work in, in either one of the doors. So I can't unlock the truck because I won't be able to get back in it. And this is the only key I got with the truck. So I bought a new lock cylinder and uh, ignition lock cylinder and door locks and whatnot with all the keys, so it's all matching. So I got all that. Let me get all this real quick so we can go to the back and I'll talk to y'all about some stuff. Sorry if I'm too close to the camera. Put y'all down for a second. about i think i talked to y'all about the leaks we got an oil pan leak the front dish leaking that's why i'm replacing the sills with the shaft i'm um, not really worried about the oil pan it's not bad at all 
and then the trans I mean the transmission fluid is leaking. So um the other thing is the tow mirrors. They're uneven, so I have to even those out. Um I'm thinking about actually putting the factory little mirrors back on it and not having tow mirrors. But here is everything I got right now. So we got the window regulators right here, the ignition, door locks with the keys, key fobs. We've got all new door switches. We've got the fuel pump, LED uh, bulbs, headlight bulbs, cabin air filter, the shifter boot, the hood release cable, the uh, transfer case shifter linkage. Now this one doesn't look the same as the old one, but Basically, I have this piece, but this other piece is missing on the truck. This little piece and it's adjustable in the center with the bolt. That piece is missing. Um, this is the uh, half shaft with the seals. So we'll get that replaced. I got this airbag off of eBay. And the picture showed it as a two prong or two plug. And what they sent was a four, a four plug. So I got two of the four plug ones or the four wire ones. So, um... I messaged them, they're supposed to be sending me the right one back. Uh, we got oil and oil filter, transmission fluid filter, and gas, new gasket. This is the, the, the reusable one. Um, so we got all that we're gonna replace. I got the mirror from Pull Apart for the temp. I just gotta get the harness and sensor. Um, we got a computer cover, cause mine's missing. And what I'm gonna be doing with the cooling system, I'm gonna need this. I got a little plastic piece. This goes like up under the dash to the floor. It's a little metal bracket. This thing that goes right here, it's missing. So I bought one. So there's that. Um, we got a little battery hold down for the second battery tray. This is the relay um, and keyless entry anti-theft module that goes behind the cluster. And this is the little switch that goes for the glove box for a light in the glove box. Um, and I think that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, I do need to replace the third brake light. It's kind of dry rotted, cracked. So I need to replace that. But yeah, other than that, I mean, truck runs great, drives great. I have no complaints. I drove it when I bought it. I drove two hours, two and a half hours to go get it. And I drove it back here and I've been driving to work ever since. I, drove, I got it last Saturday and today's Saturday, so it's been seven days. So, yeah. But um, if I find anything else wrong with it, I can, um, I'll, I'll drop a video on it. And I'll be posting videos about um, all the other little things I'm going to replace. Everything I'm going to replace, I'm going to make a video about. So I'll drop those if y'all want to see that. Um, the cooling system upgrade, I'll drop a video on that. Like I said, I'm not going to tell y'all about what that is until i drop the video um because it's actually really it's way more interesting than anything else i'm doing on the truck but yeah so if y'all want to see more videos on this truck if y'all like it if y'all um, you know like comments down below what you think about it what i should do with it um make sure you hit the bell notification so you'll know uh, when i drop a video on it and yeah that, that's about it you all know the Walk around with the truck. This is all the interior. I don't know if I said anything about the headliner, but we gotta replace that. It's really nice. Like I said, I can probably get another bed for like a couple hundred dollars or something. As long as it's under a thousand, I think it'd be worth it. As long as it's the same color and whatnot, and there's no dents or anything. I can get a new HD hood. Um, I might keep it stocked for right now. I might just get some 33 inch mud wraps to put on here. Um, and get some center caps. These center caps for because these are GMC and someone's painted them or something. So I'm get the Chevrolet ones off of eBay. They're like a hundred dollars. I'll get those and yeah, I think this would be a nice little build. Thanks for watching.